Hey guys, you know one of my big things that I always talk about is that your day is what you make it, right? You can't have a good day. You can have a cookie or you can have a hot dog, but you can't have a day. It is what you make it. Well, there's a friend of mine named Alexander who apparently needs to go to my class because Alexander has a whole book called Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. First step, because it's music class, I like to add instruments and movement and stuff to my books. Now you're not with me, so I can't do it like normal. So, need your help. If you notice, there are a couple words in the title. Everyone say, terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. So that's terrible, horrible, no good, and very bad, okay? I need you to either assign a different instrument sound, or a different body percussion. You could clap, right? Or touch your head. Terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. You could totally do that, right? So I need you to make four sounds, whether it's with your body or with instruments. Maybe you wanna do a dance. Maybe you have some cool dance for the word terrible and the word horrible and no good and very bad. But you're going to do those things every time I read those parts in the book. So. You need to think of something for each of the words. Press pause and come back and finish the book. Are you ready? Did you press pause? Or you just know it? Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Now there's one more thing in here. You know how like when things are going crazy and you just wanna run away? Now I never did that because my Nana used to tell me that she'd give me trash bags and I could just leave and I didn't wanna put my clothes in trash bags. So Ms. Browning never ran away. So I didn't have that experience, but I know a lot of us, I know for me as an adult, I wanna go away to a beautiful island, right? So sometimes when we are really upset and we just wanna move away, well, Alexander wants to move to Australia. So what we're gonna do is something that if you are younger, it's not a word you learned yet, but my big kids should know this word. So if you don't know it, just listen carefully. We're gonna do what we call a crescendo and a decrescendo, okay? Crescendo means to get louder, and a decrescendo means to get softer. So, on one of your instruments, or if you're using your body percussion, you can do it on your legs. You're going to do it from quiet to loud to quiet. So whenever I say the word Australia, which is where he wants to go, you're gonna go. It's gonna get loud, and then it's gonna get soft, okay? crescendo and decrescendo. Are we ready for the book? So we have our four sounds and we have a crescendo and a decrescendo on the word Australia. Are you ready to hear about Alexander's terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day by Judith Force, illustrated by Ray Cruz. Okay, here we go. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on a skateboard. And by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running. And I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Poor Alexander. But now we know it's what you make it. So you could change his choices. Oh, but I don't think he's going to. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box. And Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. So do your crescendo and your date. In the carpool, Miss Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot get seats by the window too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said, if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be car sick. No one even answered. Poor guy, right? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, Horrible, no good, very bad 
day. Are you adding your instruments or your body percussion? It makes it so much more fun. Okay. Oh no, here we go. At school, Miss Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. <sighs> At singing time, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, she said I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. There's the picture of him and his invisible castle, which if it's invisible, did he draw anything? And then there he is having that bad day. Poor Alexander. Okay. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. And he said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moyo was his next best friend and that I was only his third best friend. I hope you sit on attack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream cone, the cream part falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. Do a crescendo and a day crescendo. Oh, there's those guys. We all have those days, right? When all your friends are hanging out. He's just... Maybe not in a good mood today. And there he is telling him about his ice cream cone. The girls with their bears. Okay. That's a big old bow on that girl's hair. It's like a JoJo bow, right? Crazy. Here we go. Oh, there were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag. And Albert got a Hershey's bar with almonds. And Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. There he is, all of them eating their good desserts. A little jelly roll, right? And then here's our friend Alexander eating a sandwich. Poor guy, right? I like dessert, not gonna lie. Oh, here we go. That was it because after school, my mother took us to the dentist. And Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said... I'm going to Australia. Do your crescendo and your day crescendo. Oh no. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot. While we were waiting for my mom to go get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And then when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said I was a crybaby. Oh, this is not gonna end good. And, oh, ands are never good, so you call him crybaby. And oh, while I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. <sighs> Poor kid. Oh, no. I'm having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I told everybody. No one even answered. Okay. So, then I went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes. But the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones. But they can't make me wear them. This is brother, right? Oh, and there's our friend. Oh no, here we go. Oh, picked up my dad from his office. He said I couldn't play with a copy machine, but I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk. And I was careful as can be, except for my elbow. He also said, don't fool around with his phone. But I think I called Australia. 
Christian now? Big Christian now. My dad said, please don't pick him up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. That's a lot going on. Probably how your parents feel right now, right? With all y'all running around. But you're being angels. Oh. Oh. I feel this pouncing. There were lima beans for dinner. And I hate limas. There was kissing on TV. And I hate kissing. Kissing's gross. Lima beans for dinner. And gross kissing on TV. Yuck. That's how you get germs, right? My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain. And I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. I hate my railroad train pajamas. It's a big old duck in his bathtub though, right? There's his railroad train pajama pants. A lot of kids like railroad trains, huh? I think he's missing out on, oh, wait a minute. There's more, this poor kid. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow. He said I could keep, and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out. And I bit my tongue. The cat wants to be with Anthony, not with me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says, some days are just like that. See his little brothers are sleeping and the cat's up there. So some days are just like that, right? Even in Australia. Crescendo and then day crescendo. Well, I love that book. It's so much fun, but it's true though, right? Our days are what we make it. So Alexander could have changed it from the point when he first hooked up in the morning, right? And started to find the good things in the day. So with that said, find the good things in today and tomorrow and the rest of this time together, okay? I love you guys. Make it a good day.